Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I wanted to show you how to create a leopard print font in Design Space. And it's just a font that has two different colors. Some examples are this t-shirt here. It's got the leopard color and then another color. You see this a lot on Etsy, on t-shirts. Um, also made some stickers with this font. but it's really super cute. So we're gonna go ahead in Design Space. I'm gonna show you how you can um, easily create this split colored design to use on t-shirts and mugs and even stickers and things like that. So I hope you enjoy this video. So we'll go ahead and jump on into Design Space. Okay, so now I'm in Design Space. I'm just gonna go in and create a new project. And now I'm just gonna create some text. So go to the text box and hold in the shift key I'm gonna type in some capital letters and I'm just gonna use coffee for this example today. I'm gonna go ahead and change the font from Cricut Sans to a font called Bright Sunday Sans Serif. I think you can get this on defont.com or Creative Market. Um, but I like this font because it has really tall, bold letters and it works good for this kind of design. Now that I have my text, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that because I'm gonna need two sets of these. Now you can and group everything and I'm gonna go ahead and align this first set to the top and I'm also going to change the color of these just so that we can tell the difference in both of these okay so now it's really easy to do you just go into shapes and draw a square and I'm going to size my square just to make sure that it covers the entire height of those letters. And you also want to duplicate as many squares as you have letters. So I have six letters here. I would need six squares theoretically, but since most, some of these are the same, I'm only going to need about three squares. So I'm going to duplicate until I have three squares. Now I'm just going to draw a line and select just those squares and arrange those and send them to the back so that they are behind the letters. Okay, I'll move these two out of the way. I'm gonna do the first letter and it's really simple. You just want to center the right side of that square in the very center of your letter. And I'm just gonna eyeball this. And once I have that close to the center, you wanna select your square and your letter and hit slice. And now you can see this center part has been sliced out and it will fit down here perfectly on top of the whole gray letter. And now I can just delete all of this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for each one of my letters. You can get creative and really do this however you want to. You can either slice it down the center or you can create kind of a diagonal slice if you want to. Let's do this and see how this works. And for this one, I'm just positioning this right side of this rectangle as close as I can to this inner side of the F. I'm just gonna duplicate these for the rest of the letters. But if you had a full alphabet of letters, then you would just do this for the rest of those letters. Now I can delete all of this and duplicate this. Now I want to take all of the pink parts of the letters and move those up here just for a minute. I want to go ahead and select all of this text. So ungroup that and then align all of these to the top. So I want this to be a leopard color. If you've never work, worked with patterns in Design Space, there is a set of patterns that you can work with. Um, the first thing you want to do, I'm going to select all of this text and I'm going to go up here to operation. I don't want to cut these out. Um, I'm actually going to be printing these out. So I want to change this basic cut to a standard print and cut. And once I have that done, now I can go in here and select all of these upper parts. And when I go into my color menu, it actually has two different selections. It has color and it also has pattern. So I want to select pattern. And now you can pick a pattern for these. I like the leopard print. So I want to go to filter and I want to go to brown. 
and there is a selection of patterns in here the one that I saw that I liked the best was this um, pink and brown leopard cheetah print animal print pattern so I'm gonna select that when you have uh, multiple letters or objects that you're trying to put a pattern in some of these are gonna come up a little bit different so what you want to do you get them all kind of the same so I like this pattern here it's kind of large so I'm gonna change this one and make it a little bit larger and the way you do that is you just select the object go back into your pattern box up here and go to edit pattern this little node here changes the size of your pattern so if I move it up it makes those pattern pieces a bit bigger you can also use these boxes down here to move your pattern left or right or up and down um, to get it perfect you can also rotate it if you want to or flip it horizontal and flip it vertical so you can edit your pattern all those many ways so I'm happy with the way that looks I'm just gonna X out of this and now I want to change these to kind of match the pattern that's on my other first two letters so I can select all of those since they're all the same I'm gonna select all of those at one time go back into pattern edit pattern and I'm gonna um, bring that up to where I think it's close match um, my other letters then just X out and now you can see all those patterns are kind of the same alright to get this ready to print what you want to do is make sure all of these letters down here are ungrouped you want to select all these top letters go to arrange and send those to the front now you can bring them down you want to bring them down just below this letter so that when you select them you're gonna align to this letter and not to this letter so I'm gonna drag all of these down just below my gray letters and then I'll select the both of the C's then you can align left and align to the top and that brings that up the top so they're perfectly aligned and then you're just gonna go ahead and do your other letters the same way The next thing I want to do is go in here and change the color of my gray. I'm going to change this C to a pink color and I want it a more muted pink so I'll go to advance and kind of bring this over into the gray area until it's more of a muted gray pink. Okay I'm going to leave the O gray. I'm going to change the F to a green. And change the other F to a blue color and this I'm going to make a purple color and then the last one I'm going to make this pink to close it off okay and you have created a split text or a split font um, with a leopard pattern that was super simple and easy to do So now if I wanted to create a background to make stickers, I would just duplicate my image and change that back to a basic cut. That way it puts everything into cut mode. Um, and now that I've got this into cut mode, I'm going to weld it all together and create an offset. Cricut now allows you to create offsets up here at the top using the offset feature. You can adjust it to whatever width that you want to. That looks pretty good so I'm going to apply that and then once you have applied your offset you can go in and take out any fill areas in between using the contour tool Now I can change that offset color to white to print out a sticker that has a white offset. You can also use this to print out for sublimation designs and um, iron-on designs and things like that. So thank you guys.
guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm going to be doing some more videos uh, about this heat press that you see back here. This is my new piece of equipment. Um, and also got a sublimation printer um, that we're going to be doing some designs and also have the Cricut mug press. We are going to do a video on that. Um, I'm going to try to film that today for you guys. So I'll see you in the next video.